Hi, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Angel Storm, and I am so excited to introduce you to my guest today. Alyssa Harakal has been one of my clients for a few years. She is also an entrepreneur. She's a business owner, and she is here to talk to us about how your healthy mind goes with your healthy body. Alyssa, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited about this. Oh, me too. I am really excited because well, one of the things, let's just back up, is that <laughs> having having the ability to care for ourselves is so, so important just in normal everyday life. But then when you add on top of the other things that you're responsible for, you know, your business, your your children, every kind of thing that you're pursuing outside of outside of, you know, just normal life is really requires you to come with a level of excellence and being able to be in control of your thoughts, knowing that you've nourished your own body, it can add so much to, to how you make decisions, how you make choices, and how you guide the rest of the people that you're connected to. Yeah, yes, yes. Um, and I would just like to say that is so true. And, um, and just thank you as well, because um, the work that I have done with you and the fact that I integrated that with my exercise practice and my physical movement practice, um, it has just changed my life tremendously. So. I just love hearing that truly. That, and I'm sure it's the same for you. Why you love being a coach is seeing these transformations that you get to be a part of. It's just incredible, isn't it? And like, what an honor to be a part of it. That's truly how I feel. Yeah. When, when, so Tell me a little bit about your background and how you got started in Pilates and tell my audience a little bit about how Pilates has enhanced your own personal life and how it could help them as well. Yeah. Um, so I began exercising literally at the age of three. At the age of three, I would run, I started off with dancing. I would run around and just move and and just say mom watch me dance watch me dance mom and so I started taking dance classes um when I was three and then that actually that same year I discovered Denise Austin I, I discovered Denise Austin and <laughs> oh I started <laughs> and I started doing her workout programs and I absolutely absolutely loved her I, that is what I, I knew that is what I wanted to do when I grew up. I wanted to help people move. I wanted to help people get fit and I wanted to help people just feel good about themselves. Yeah. And I literally, when I was six years old, somebody asked me, I distinctly remember this and I'm not sure why, I'm probably because it was uh, just really truthful moment they said what do you want to do when you grow up and I said I want to be an exercise physiologist oh wow <laughs> that's a specific answer for a six-year-old it was it was it was and they laughed at me but but I became a biomechanist in the end which is very close to exercise physiology absolutely um, yeah so all through my um young life through high school through college um I always exercised and moved and and I you I did it to help myself feel better um and and it was it was really amazing and eventually I went to college for kinesiology and I received my master's um, in biomechanics when I was going towards my PhD, I was thinking about becoming a, a professor, but then I just remembered how much I love to really work with people and, 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 and affect people. And so I left my PhD program and I got married and moved to Northern Virginia. And that's when I opened my business in a physical location, Body Design by Alyssa. And yeah. And once I opened it and I started working with clients, I knew that was exactly what I, what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Um, like you were saying, um, when people would come to me with back pain and then all of a sudden they say, hey, I can put my jeans on in the morning and, and not be in pain anymore. Like when I'm putting my jeans on, this is amazing. I, it, it's, I was like, yes, yes, yes. But um, I have definitely, in my own personal um, space, I've used Pilates 
to help me get through things. Um, I The Pilates helped me get through my divorce um, back about six years ago. Um, it helped me deal with things. It helped me be more present to my children afterwards. Um, there were injuries that I got along the way and I used Pilates to help rehabilitate myself. And again, because I want to be there for my kids, I want to run around on the playground. Um, I want to play Power Rangers with them. So, so, uh, Pilates and exercise, specifically Pilates, but all movement, it just helps me be the best version of myself so I can show up for my business. So I can show up for my children and, and show up for my life, really. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good, Alyssa. You know, one of the things that we talk about in my coaching is that like attracts like. And so the word emotion means energy in motion. And so when you match that with your physical energy, we know science tells us that it helps us process our memories uh, better. It helps us move past kind of that stuck feeling that that stuck feeling is because our our emotions our energy and motion has gotten held up somewhere and so by physically moving our body we can actually allow those emotions to process through our bodies to process through our neural connect uh, neural network so that we have appropriate connections to the meaning of those emotions so movement is super important not just for the the standpoint of I want to be fit, I want to feel good in my body. Those things are amazing, by the way. But also in terms of processing through uh, any kind of hard or or more challenging emotion and and specifically an emotional time period. So I love that you discovered for yourself, like, hey, I feel so good when I move my body, and that really every person will feel better when they move their body because we are all designed to move. Yeah. 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 And, and it's just amazing. Um, one of the, one of the greatest things, I mean, people get toned up and people, um, people will get out of pain, but they also, they come, uh, people will come to class and say, oh, I'm just dragging. I had a hard day. And then by the end, they're laughing, they're having fun. And they, without a doubt, 100%, whether or not they wanted to actually be in the class in the beginning, they always say, thank you. I feel so much better mentally. I'm so glad I was here. I'm so glad I was here. <laughs> it's just the best feeling as a coach to know. And by the way, I just do want to speak to everybody who's out there, either who is a coach or you want to be a coach. It's the best feeling ever when you know that you're using your gifting in the way that you were designed to use it and you are bettering not only that person that you're interacting with, but you know that we're all connected, right? So that person you just made feel better, they're going to go home and be happier with their children or with their spouse or, you know, with their pets or with their girlfriends or at, as a business person or, you know, whatever it is that they're going to go do, they're going to show up as themselves. And there is nothing more empowering, I feel, as a coach than to watch somebody fall in love with themselves, than to feel comfortable with who they are. Like, this is where I live. I, I'm going to spend all my days here. I don't get another one. You know, I don't get another body. I better take care of this one. And I also, better than that, I better love it. I better love the skin that I'm living in. And what you're doing is really helping people kind of remember how how they were created, that the, this is who you are is exactly perfect, right? And, and you should fall back in love with the way that you were designed. So I love that story. Like, I feel terrible, but you know what? I moved my body around and I remembered all these things that are truths. These truths like came up for me while I was moving. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and well, we've been working together again. Yes. You know. We're together. <laughs> yes. So yeah, just a little background. We worked together for a little while and then I didn't take one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, coaching clients anymore for a little while last year. And while that was happening, I kind of revamped some things, you know, actually I, I realized how much I miss working with one-on-one -on -one clients. I thought, 
okay, I can affect more people by doing group coaching and coaching coaches, which is true. But I really love working with individuals. I want to see the individual person change. I want to see how that impacts their day-to-day life, You know how they show up as a business owner, how they show up as a parent, how they show up as a, as a son or a daughter. And so uh, I started taking clients again, and now I've got a new, a whole new kind of program. And so you're a client of mine in the new program as well. Yes, yes, yes. And um, yeah, and I, and I and I said this into an email with you. I was so glad that you started coaching again because you have such a gift. You're amazing. You're just amazing. Thank you, Alyssa. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it means it does. It means I'm I I just love doing it, and it means so much to see someone, you know, reciprocate. Like feel like okay, this is what I am supposed to do. And I know you know that feeling where it's like man, without you, how many people would still be, you know, hurting in their body or just not feeling good about themselves and not loving themselves? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so going on with, um, going back to work with you, um, there was just, I was kind of getting stuck. I was, I was kind of getting stuck a little bit, um, with these negative thought emotions. Uh, I wasn't taking action for myself. I wasn't, I was taking actions, but I was just kind of spinning around in the hamster wheel and I was just taking action, wasn't going anywhere, taking action, wasn't going anywhere. Um, So then all of a sudden your emails popped up about the emotional alchemy. And I was like, this is exactly what I need. And, and I started working with you again and we started working on this on the on the internal stuff the things going on inside the negative thought patterns um and while we weren't specifically working on my health and my fitness the things that we were working on um helped me with my health and fitness. Um, it, it was, it was right before we started working together right after the holidays and I, my diet wasn't so good through the holidays. I wasn't moving. I was, I was trying to get things going in my business and it wasn't happening for me. And I was just stressed between being a mom, um, which best thing ever. Love it. Um, being a business owner, Second best thing ever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just wasn't able to fit in the exercise that I love so much. And then my diet went down and I started gaining weight. And it, and it, it really affected, it, it affected my energy level. Um, I, I was, I woke up tired in the morning. I felt like I needed to take naps during the day. And I, I just want to stress the importance of how that internal work allowed me to make room in my life again for fitness, which I loved. I loved, I wanted it in there, but I just, I just couldn't find the, find the place for it. And so I did my internal work. I started, um, I, I'm starting up exercising again. I'm starting with my diet again. And not only are things happening, but I just feel so much better. I feel so much better. I'm able to play better with my kids again. Um, when I'm working with clients, I'm I, I'm not feeling like I, I'm like, oh my gosh, by the end of the session. So, so I wanted to touch on that. I just wanted to touch on how important it is to have the internal work and and to also know that just because you stop doing something or just because you fell off the horse, just because you can get back on and you can do it. And I think that's just so important to, to talk about and to let your viewers know. Mm, That is so good. And that's so it's, it's funny how we try to compartmentalize a lot of things in life. Like, oh, that's, you know, for my family and that's for my work and that's for this, but everything is intertwined. And so what you're saying is true for no matter what it is, whether it has to do with fitness or it has to do with some other goal that you have already set for yourself. If just because it didn't work out the first time doesn't mean that you're unsuccessful. It means that you're learning a tool that is going to help you overcome that obstacle and turn that obstacle into an opportunity later on. And uh, one of the things that you said 
before we started recording, which I love so much, was about a, a moving meditation. Can you can you kind of talk yeah. about that a little bit? Yes, 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 yes. So with Pilates, Pilates is um, always known as mindful movement. A lot of people take that and they think it's a, very similar to yoga because they say yoga is mindful and Pilates is mindful. However, it's very, very different. I always explain it as a moving meditation because while you're moving, you aren't thinking about um, what you're going to have for dinner. You're not thinking about what you have to do next in your business. You are literally thinking about, you're meditating in on your body. There are so many cues. So this is how, let me just tell you how I will cue um, and think about a crunch. So I think a lot of people are like, I'm going to do a crunch and they just kind of crunch up and down. So in Pilates, be before you even do the crunch, I say, think about your lower abdominals, deepen your lower abdominals, feel your hips and pubic bone pulling together. And, and then, and then I'll say, do you, do you feel all the fibers? Great. Now I want you to think about and visualize your vertebrae, feel them unstacking, feel like you're getting traction through your back. Do you feel that? Great. Now lengthen through the spine as much as you can as you flex up. And then when you're up there, you're thinking about pressing your head into your hand, giving yourself traction through your neck. And then you're also thinking about, am I truly feeling my abdominals? And then you lengthen down. There's so much thought and there's so much um, technique that you get the release because you're moving, but then you also get this um, stress release because you're just in the moment with yourself. That is and amazing. Yeah, I love that. That connection to your body, which is really a big, it's a big part of who you are, right? I kind of yeah. think that sometimes we kind of go through life of like, oh, I'm hungry. Let me just like scarf down some food. So I, that hunger pain goes away. Um, okay, now let me just throw on some clothes. Let me quickly put on some makeup so I look I look apart, but we're not actually connecting with what does this thing mean to me? What is this thing doing for me? When I when I do this action, do this movement, make this choice, how does this reflect who I am? How does this reflect my values? How does it reflect what I care about? You know, how does it refute, uh, reflect my future goals and and my purpose in life, right? And so when when you start doing this in one area, like we were talking about before, nothing is separate. So although you might start in Pilates, I bet you are going to take a lot of these same principles and be able to apply them no matter what you're doing. Yeah, 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 you do. And, um, and I actually, I, I tell my clients this because... I actually um, tell them to take breaks during the during the day. We're all busy. And one of the amazing things about Pilates is it's not about how much you do. It's about how you do them. Do That's the good. movements with excellence. So you might, you can, if you do only five crunches, but you do them perfectly, that will give you more results. So you don't have to do hour long workouts every day, but I, I do, I, I, I always like to set my clients up for success. So if they're busy and they're not doing anything during the day to start off with, when they first start working with me, I give them the most important thing. And I say, okay, during the day, I want you to take breaks from work. And this is all I want you to do for this week. I want you to deepen your abdominals and lengthen through your spine. And I just want you to feel your abs and lengthen. So it gives them that mental break in the middle of the day of work. So they can kind of have a little bit of a refresh, but it's also, it's, it's relieving their hip pain. It's relieving their back pain. Um, it's giving them the abdominals that they're looking for. It's improving their posture, which immediately makes everybody feel more confident and more powerful. So it, it does, it absolutely leaks into different parts of your life in like the best way. Yeah, absolutely. And I love what you're talking about here where it's like, don't let what you can't do be an excuse for what you can do, right? So, yeah. okay, I might not have an hour or two hours or whatever every day to work out, but I can take these 30 seconds to reconnect with who I am and remember who I am and start 
uh, doing just a little bit for my physical body, right? Yes. That automatically, that that gives my mind a break. It kind of re, uh, refocuses me onto what is is important and it helps me prioritize what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And 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 as far as results, depending on what type of workouts, but especially when you're first just starting, doing little bits of exercise during the day and breaking it up will give you the same exact results as if you take all of those things and do them for 30 minutes at the end of the day. Wow. And then plus you're getting the benefit of taking time to not just be sitting in a chair and to yeah. get up and to move. So that's why I just absolutely encourage everybody to move a little bit during the day. Let themselves just decompress and get centered back in on themselves and so they can go back fresh for their work or whatever they're doing in the whoever they need to show up for in the middle of the day. Yes, absolutely. No, I love I love that and it's kind of just this ability for you to remember as well. Um I might have started off like thinking this is going to be my goal or this is how my day is going to go. But as I've done these little check-ins with myself throughout the day, I'm actually finding a way to love myself better because I'm seeing that I actually need to get up and walk around or I need to go do something else that wasn't on my schedule because I wasn't even mindful, right? I wasn't even conscious of the fact that that thing was getting neglected or that, you know, a really good way to love myself right now is to go do this other thing, which I just yeah. love. <laughs> and that's actually that's actually um one of the things I I just did your divine masculine and divine feminine course. Yeah. <laughs> that was life changing. That was actually life changing for me I, again to to actually fit fitness and back into my life because before I did that, um I'm as flowy as they come. I am very <laughs> I am very flowy, and I tried so hard to just schedule my day and and just schedule it yeah I I never ever 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 like I I never I don't think I ever actually did this schedule ever yeah <laughs> which made me just say I can't do schedules and I just just completely blew it off. But by doing the time blocking that you talk about and just allowing myself a little bit of freedom, um, I found time to not only do my business things, not only do my um, children things, but also to do things for me. Yes, that is so good, Alyssa. And I tell people like, if you are only going to do one thing this year. That is the thing that I recommend. I don't, I don't recommend that you jump into one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. You might not be ready for that. I don't recommend that you, you know, dive head into my intensive, even though you might need that. Truly the one thing that I could tell you is to get into that divine masculine, divine feminine course and do start thinking about things differently. Because when you understand how you're created, you'll stop fighting against this design that you come here with. You come here knowing, hey, that doesn't feel good to me or that feels really good to me, right? We come here knowing that, but then we struggle figuring out how do I make that thing actually productive for me? How do I make that thing turn into results that will impact my life and let me have the the life that I dream of living, right? Yeah. And so when yeah. you under, yeah, we just got to go back to like the blueprint and like, what is my very essence, right? Because your yeah. essence is to be flowy and to uh, allow the flowing to happen. And that's amazing. And that's, that is truthfully most, how how most women are created. But if we don't understand that, like a river flows because it has the structure of the banks on it either side and it directs it. And and when when that's happening, everybody wants to be the, by the river. People want to go fishing. People want to float down it. People want to listen to the beautiful noise that it makes. But when it comes over the banks and it's flooding everybody's houses, it's just going everywhere. No one likes it, right? Everybody yeah. wants it to go away. Everybody wants it to go back somewhere else and not right here. Um, and so that is very representative of what happens with a lot of women. Like you're saying, I'm just going to get rid of those banks because I don't understand how to use them and they're getting in my way. But when we understand, hey, there's a way to form them so that they actually help you flow very easily and naturally. And, and, and when we get that put in, 
the time blocking is something that I've been doing for years and has always worked really well for me. I'm like you. I mean, I'll stick to a schedule, but I feel drained afterwards. And I think that's the thing that I wanted people to know is that if you're trying to do it in in a certain type of way because you've watched everybody else do it or you've been taught your whole life, like you have to show up on time, you have to do this thing, you got to do this, you got to be here. And that's, that feels life sucking to you. Then I want you to know there's definitely an easier way to schedule your day and get even more done than you were when you had that super rigid schedule. Just go with what works for you. And I think that course was, I mean, I did, I designed it to try to help people understand if you fight against your design, you're doing more work with more effort and not having as many results as you would have. Like, it's like using the wind to go sailing, you know, as opposed to like trying to fight it the whole time and it doesn't become enjoyable. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. so for you, for you, like what, what would you say for, how does that translate or does it translate into the way that you approach your clients? Does it, did it, in other words, I know that it impacted you personally, but did, did it, have an impact in like the way that you maybe show up to work with your clients or teach your clients or instruct them on the movements that they're making or the time that they're making for, uh, for working out or for fitness or for whatever that they're doing with you? Um, it was really, it was really, cause at first, at first when, um, I would be working with clients, I would give them, I would give them their homework. Yeah. I would give them their homework and, and I was giving them what I believe, but how do I say this? I want to say this correctly. Um, I was giving them pretty much, I was saying, okay, here's your workout. I want you to try to do this workout three times, three times a week, do this three times a week and, um, and then come back and then, and, and we'll revamp most and my and my clientele is mostly um over the age of 50 mostly some some are a little younger and uh, 98% of them are women so and my clients kept coming back and they weren't doing it and it wasn't that they didn't want to do it they just they they just couldn't they 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 just couldn't find it in their schedule and they felt awful. They they felt bad. They came in and they said, I'm just, I, I'm just lazy, which they're not. All of my clients, none of my clients are lazy. They're all amazing women um, and, and a few men and a few men. Um, they're amazing as well. And they, they are successful, but they were just finding this challenge. And I actually, when I heard about this, I just, <laughs> I was like, I have to tell you about this. I have to tell you about this. Um, and I, I mean, not everybody has the luxury as I do to be an entrepreneur. So I really can create my own day. But I told them about what I learned with the divine um, feminine. And that's when I started encouraging the little bit of move and be like, okay, this is your time. This is your time. And, and I just encourage them to just like, take this little bit of time and just allow yourself to get into it. Like allow yourself to just be there, allow this to be your internal moment. So you can just step away and not have to be so scheduled all the time. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then I also really encourage them when they have their free time to find um, things that they love to do with their kids, with their spouse, and just move. So you don't necessarily have to schedule this large workout, but you you just have to find something you love and you and and just move and 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 allow yourself to feel good. And the more that people started doing that and started kind of shifting how they thought about exercise, the more they were actually doing the things that they needed to do and the better results that they were getting. So, yes. and it, so they might not be doing um, all the internal work, but just like the little bit of step back 
Um, I, I also really um, help them. I, I also encourage people to do a little bit right as soon as they wake up. I give them uh, uh, exercises that they can do. Like, this is an exercise you could do in bed. Like, literally, your eyes wake up, you could do this. You're, you're just about ready to close your eyes, you can do this. And kind of helps, like, center them, set them to start their day well and end their day well. So that has been a huge shift that I've done just since the, I've taken that course. Yeah. I love that so much because it's, it's what, what I hear you talking about is this kind of snowball effect of what happens when you start taking just one step of inspired action. Inspired action means you're going to well, let me talk about inspired action for just a second. Inspired action means that it lines up with your soul blueprint. In other words, I know I'm created this way. This feels amazing for me. I'm going to do that one thing. And it, it, a lot of people try to make it like the, these big, big things. Like I went to medical school or I'm going to do whatever. And it isn't, it's like adding these little luxury breaks or whatever you want to call them throughout the day of like, Hey, I need to enjoy myself. Right. Because no matter how I'm spending my time, this is, this is a day and this is a, a, a time period that I can never get back. So I better be connected to that thing. I better be enjoying however I'm spending all of these seconds that I have during the day, just as much as I would when I'm spending money on a vacation or whatever. We need to be invested with our time. And so inspired action is, is saying, I know who I am. I know how I was created. I remember that. And I take action that's in line with those things. And so I love that you're, to me, it's like when you get people to remember that and give them the freedom to choose inspired action, then they're like, oh, I would love to do a program. Oh, I would love to be on a schedule, right? Because it feels good for them because they they actually went back all the way to the original design at, of how they were created. And I also love that your your business name is Body by Design because it's like if there's a design of how of, of how you are, each individual is, and how you are created to interact with the rest of the world. And you're bringing that to help people feel good about their bodies and their health. And I just, I just love all how all of that works out together. Yeah. Yeah. And um, speaking of inspired action, <laughs> um, I've recently decided to take an inspired action with my business. Let me hear. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as I, I believe I said this in the beginning that I, um, I started to, um, over the holidays, I, I started eating a little bit too much uh, or I'm not eating too much, but eating the wrong foods, eating the wrong foods. I was, I was, I wasn't finding all the space to, to get my exercise program and, and, um, I gained weight. I, and I put this out on my Instagram. So, and then just a few days ago, I was just thinking, I was like, this is not just me. Yeah. <laughs> this happens to everybody. And, and, and we are not, no one's alone in this, in this struggle. So I just recently decided to enhance my program. I really think it enhanced my program. Um, I was just doing Pilates and I love Pilates because it, it's just amazing. It's amazing for the mind, body, um, it, and it gets you to draw in. But so many clients want to see a change in their body. They, they, they do, they want to lose a little bit of weight like, like I did. Um, so but a Pilates won't get you there. So I recently just decided to create a program that integrates all the things that I love and the things that um, are also going to include helping people with weight loss, helping people with um, with um, with cardiovascular health as well, and and just increasing muscle mass. Pilates will do that, but weight training with weights will help a, a bit more with, with increased muscle mass. So I'm creating a program that I'm actually going to be doing myself. I'm going to be showing people the exact exercises that I'm doing to help get my 
body, my cardiovascular health, my um, my muscle health, and um, back to where I wanted it to be. And we're, I'm going to start doing live stream workouts and put it together in a program that people can know exactly what to do, when to do it. Um, we're all busy. It's not going to be an hour and a half long. They're going to be short workouts that are specifically designed for busy people. Um, it's it's not going to be a program specifically designed for 20 somethings. It's it's going to be designed from for the, my clients how the the 50 year olds um, who might have some body pain. So not only will the program help them to tone up, lose the weight, gain more confidence, um, feel better about themselves, but it will also help decrease body pain. And if they, if there's any back pain, hip pain, knee pain, whatever we did to ourselves when we were growing up, <laughs> that will be addressed within the program too. And that was, that was my inspired action. And I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited. This is amazing. This is <laughs> like an awesome program. I am so glad that you're, you're offering this to, to people. One of the things that I want to address specifically for my audience is that, um, well, actually, uh, you know, YouTube lets me see like, what is the demographics of people who subscribe to my channel and so forth. And actually, uh, 40, I think it's 43 or 42% of the people who subscribe to my channel are 60 and older, which tells me that people who are subscribing to my channel are, are, or could be facing what they call a gray divorce, which is for people who are 50 and older tr facing a divorce. When you are going through a life change and you're in that age bracket, there are different things that you need to consider than somebody who's in their twenties, thirties, or forties. And, and one of the things that might be a concern to you when you are are realizing you might be losing your partner whether you wanted to or not and going through this divorce process is that nobody's there to do the things that you thought you would do with that person or or take care of you physically right and so i love what you're mentioning here because this is a way for people to really start addressing these issues that have maybe been able to kind of been sweeped under the rug because we have have had a mechanism in place that that allowed us to not really address it. And that's one of the things that often happens when people start separating from a narcissist specifically, but truly in any kind of life change. It's like, hey, that didn't really work for me or I'm starting to see I don't like this thing about myself or I would love to have this part of my life improved more or I see how much of this part of my life I was outsourcing to somebody else to do. And so this is a great opportunity for people to start, especially in this gray divorce category, uh, to start taking, um, you know, more, more, start putting more effort, start investing more into themselves because truly you are worth it. You're you are going to be the best investment you ever make. And so I love that you are bringing this up because it it really truly empowers people to recognize, hey, I can make changes, I can see results, and I can enjoy the rest of my life and live it in a way that makes me feel good, that make, leaves me fulfilled, and that I look forward to. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I mean... When I was going through my divorce, I was I I was still had baby weight on me. I still had the weight of um of my of my my second child. And that really, really, really affected me. Especially like I think it affects everybody, but it really affected me in the moment. It, it, I was going through all of these things and then my body was not, it was completely different and not where I wanted it to be. Um, so, so taking the steps to be healthier at that moment was, it was definitely about, um, my stress it was definitely, it helped really stress, but it, it, it helped me feel more confident in myself. Like your confidence can just be completely gone, not completely gone, but it can feel like you're, it's completely yeah. gone. And yes. that taking that step to, to exercise and to do something for yourself and to see yourself improving and feeling better and looking better. It's one of the, it's one of the best things you can do for yourself. It, it, I, I, 
I, I, yeah, it, it's, it really is. It really is. And the thing is that we know, you know, there's a bunch of great benefits to exercising in terms of your neurochemicals, right? Because it's going to be releasing things like endorphins and so forth that go into your bloodstream that make you feel better. But what actually is also happening is that people, people know that even though right this second, I don't see the result that I want to, that I want to see, um, or I don't feel the result that I want to feel. I know I'm doing the right thing. I know I've taken a step and an action today to invest in that end result that I'm after. And that alone changes your outlook on yourself, on your future, on, on your body, on everything that you're about to go do that day, whether it's just regular meetings or you're sitting in a four hour, 10 hour, whatever deposition with your attorney. And so yeah. when you feel good about yourself, you can show up confidently, whether or not you have that end result, that changes everything from right now forward. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's amazing. Yeah. And <laughs> I mean, I, I saw that for myself. I see that in my clients and I, and I saw it for myself. Mm. And yeah. I felt that for myself. And um, I don't, before that, um, I, I I understood and, and I, and I could hear where my clients were coming from, but that experience put me exactly in their, in their shoes. I, I like, I experienced all the emotions, all the things I, and I knew exactly what everybody was talking about at that moment. I totally know what you mean. I have one of those experiences that I just recently experienced for myself where it's like, I understood in my head where, how people would feel, but it what it's not until you experience it where you're like, oh, wow, you know, that is quite impactful. I didn't yeah. realize the depth of the emotions. And I just felt like, okay, I can connect with them emotionally now on that. Yeah. Cause if you just try to do it from your head, it's, it's a different um, map, you know, then if you've actually gone through it yourself, you're like, no, I remember how I was feeling, you know, yeah. on, on my 10th day or whatever of, of trying to start a new workout routine of, of trying to do all of this stuff and, and navigate this new life while trying to create this new body. You know, you can really, you can really relate to what somebody is going, um, through. And I think that makes the best type of coach because it's literally not just something like, uh, kind of pressure focused or even shame based or any kind of thing where it's like, you need to just do this. Like, here's the plan, go do it. But you can actually connect to somebody on a human level of, I totally understand that. That's a, that's a lot of stuff going on for, for you to manage. It's too much for someone to manage. And that's the truth is that some of this stuff that people go through, especially when you're divorcing a narcissist, it's too much. You can not do it by yourself. And I think that coaches really help you understand that you don't need to, right? You don't have to. And you don't have to, in the moment, come up with a good idea and a good plan forward. Like, we we can help you not only navigate what you're dealing with, but help lead you to the exact outcome that you want. And I love that that is what the focus of your of your coaching is because it's something that you see so much benefit in and you love so much that you get to offer it to the world from that place of like authentic, authentic genuine love, right? You get to give that out. Yeah. So tell people like, how do we sign up for this program? Like when is it starting and how do we join? I actually am going to start beta testing with five people next week. Okay. I'm going to start testing next week. Um, the way that you can sign up for the program, you can visit my website and I have a contact page on my website, mm -hmm. um, but I am also on Instagram, Body Design by Alyssa. You can send me a direct message there and, or you can also send me an email at bodydesignbyalyssa at gmail.com. And we and will all have- Sorry, all of those are in the description of this video. So um, you don't have to memorize all of that. You can just look in the description and you can find how to contact Alyssa, you know, in this video. Yes. And um, after after we contact, after you contact me, I love to schedule a, a free consultation. So we can talk, you get to know me, I get to know you. And 
we really make sure that this is going to be a beneficial program for you, for your body, and for your goals. Mm, that's so good. So what about somebody who is, I, 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 I just want to throw this out there. What if somebody is watching this and is like, um, you know, I'm in my late sixties or early seventies and I'm overweight and I've tried, you know, programs in the past, but they really, you know, didn't make me feel good or it was just too much work or, you know, whatever. What, why should I try again? You should know because a, because you are worth the investment. You are worth the investment. And I've tried, I've tried a lot of things before um, I was, before I finally contacted Angel. I mean, I, I tried so many different therapists that didn't connect with me. You have to find your perfect person. You have to find the right person, the person who's going to understand you, the person who's going to listen to you. My programs, I, I really make sure that I listen to what the people want. I, I, I'm not going to make up a program for you that is just going to be generic. There, there is going to be with, with, with through the course, it's of course going to be videotaped, but there's also going to be personal, um, personal instructions, personal group instruction. And there is where you really get that individualized attention to make sure that you're doing everything correctly. Um, and to make, and, and it's actually, oh my goodness, my, my clients, they're just all amazing women and so supportive of each other. Um, so, so you also get access to this just super supportive, um, community. And that actually is part of where, why people love and, and gain so much, um, energy and, and joy after the workout, just because there's so many like-minded, amazing women too, that you meet through the program as well. I love that so much. I think that's huge in coaching is having people around you who are going to celebrate you and celebrate your successes and want to want to learn from one another while they learn from the coach, right? And there's a great uh, phrase, and it's one of my favorite sayings that, you know, um, happiness is only real when it's shared. And so in your program, you're not only getting the program, like here's the steps to do the things that will make you feel better internally and make your body feel better. But we're also incorporating a group of people who are willing to celebrate with you, who want to celebrate with you, who want to lift you up and want to share their experiences as well with you so that you don't have to learn from experience necessarily your own self which is amazing, which yeah. is amazing. And, and I love how you started off by saying, cause you're the best investment. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Everybody, because that's, it's so, it's so true. Whatever you invest in yourself, you, you're going to get out. And I think, uh, from, for, I've worked with you for many years. One of the best things, one of your best qualities, you have many Alyssa, but one of your best qualities is that you are so sensitive and in tune to the people that are around you. And you know almost exactly what it is that that person needs and the way to explain it in a way that they are going to be able to receive it and truly make a difference in, in, their, uh, in their life, in their mind, and in the connections that they have created you know, with other people as well. And it's one of the best things that I think people could do is to connect with you for that reason because you're so intuitive of, of what it is that this person needs and how they need to receive it. You're so, um, you're so focused on what it is that that person needs. It's rare in today's world, even amongst entrepreneurs. Oh, thank you. They, oh. I, I, <laughs> but, but actually, um, I'm, I'm going to say, um, one of my clients just recently, they, she said that, thing to me exactly she's one of my personalized one-on-one -on -one clients and I always start off the session by saying of course how are you but then how is your body what happened this week and um I, I'll make a plan up but then I will always be able to change up the plan depending ex I mean not just on like how her body's feeling but or how the person's body's feeling but also how are they doing mentally what sort of 
workout will help them mentally that day as well, not just physically. Yeah, that's so good. Again, going back to the start of when, whenever we started this video is your, your healthy mind determines your healthy body and vice versa. And so it is so important that somebody who is designing a program, regardless really of what kind of coach they are, what kind of thing that they're designing takes into account the whole person, because mm -hmm as uh, again, as much as we love to like compartmentalize like kids and house and you know pets and whatever, it, everything is all together, you know, cause, because we're a whole person, we're not just showing up like, Oh, just my body is going to that thing. Or, you know, just my mind is going to that thing. Nope. We show up all together. So everything is really in a, in, integrative and it's important that we approach the, the tools that we're using uh, that way as well, so that we learn skills that are going to be used across these fields and not keep running into these walls where it's like, well, how come I can be so successful over here and I'm not seeing any results over there? That tells me that there's the incongruence of either a, a vision. So either your perspective is not in harmony or your values are not in harmony. You value one thing more than the other thing without realizing that's one value, right? Do you have anything else that you would love to share before we close this out? I, I mean, I also would just um, like to invite people to like my Facebook page, Body Design by Alyssa. I like to post fitness tips there, um, motivational things, and just things to help you gain fitness knowledge throughout the day and and throughout the week so I would like to invite people to like me there and and really just I I just invite you to also if you have any fitness questions please send me a message I love to I love to talk and I love to help people get to their to their goals absolutely so please go do go follow Alyssa she adds so much I love um your Instagram reels as well that you do. I, and I, and the posts and stuff on there, I follow you on Instagram. So follow her on Instagram, follow her on Facebook and definitely go sign up for a free consultation. Um, I, I think that there's number one, nothing that you can lose. And it's potentially the best investment that you're going to make in yourself all year. Why wait? It's February. Let's get this year off started right you know making yes, a it's not team. too late it's not too late that's right <laughs> you know it's funny because a lot of people are thinking sometimes I I, I run into clients who are like but because I run a year-long program and they're like well it's it's March it's going to be next year you know it's like well it's going to be next year whether you make the change or not and so it's only February it's the year is young let's make the most of it let's start making new behaviors so that we have different outcomes so that we have the results that we actually want. Please go follow Alyssa, sign up for a free consultation. And Alyssa, I just want to say thank you again for coming on my channel, for sharing your knowledge and your personal experience and just of yourself with my audience today. Uh, thank you so much. I had so much fun. Oh, good. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I did too. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.